All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash, the monster, the elves, and the apostle, the great middle stone. Citation to Allah, I can preserve true surge with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the word in calls God, Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, who the word in calls Jesus, and Racha Kudash, the Holy Spirit. As always, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners, scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. Hey, and as always, I'm the brother Yadir from the Great Millstone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled The Judgment Ridden. And hey, man, hey, it's a judgment ridden, you know. Because, hey, what, what happened to our people, man? Hey, the Lord ain't just going to let that go un, un, unpaid for, you know? Establish. Hold on. Let me try and grab this really quick. On grave. Because, hey, it's a judgment written for the atrocities that the self-proclaimed white man, these nations have done to our people, man. This is, uh... Stone's own burial. Burial. Yeah, burial. Sin. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 21. Yeah, this is Ecclesiastes 21. Hey, he that built of his house with other men's money is like one that gathered for himself stones for the tomb of his burial, man. Because hey, it's a judgment coming for the way of how to, how to self proclaimed white men. These names have treated our people, man. Taken advantage of our people. Licked our people's sores, man. Destroyed our people, man. Our people are jacked up. The hey, the scripture said the whole head is sick. There's no soundness in it. Our people, hey, as it says in the book of Lamentations, if it wasn't for the Lord's mercy, we would have been consumed. How bad these heathens have destroyed us, man. So hey, it's a judgment coming for that. This is Second Thessalonians one and verse six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So hey, the Lord said it's a righteous thing to pay back. Hard time, hardship, slavery, captivity to those that trouble you. Then the so-called white man destroy our people, put yokes of iron around our neck. Then the ham and Ishmael round us up, man. You know, then they put us in captivity, man. Then they, you know, uh, put all these different things, all these poisons in our community and take advantage of us, man. You think we're not going to be able to get that back? Hey, we the apple of the Lord's eye. I'm going to hit this verse 7. I'm going to grab this uh. Zechariah, man, this is verse 7. It says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. And hey, the men of the Lord, a hey, hey, seeing that, uh, and understanding how, how jacked up we've been done, hey, it's troubling. But hey, we have this comfort, this truth. You know, it says, Rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, man. Because hey, we're going to get this truth. We're going to understand that hey, it was all a part of the Lord's plan, that the Lord is going to pay us back. He's going to render unto Esau Edom double, man. You know? But, hey, we waiting on the Lord to come back and, re and, and, and render that. Set us free, man. This is Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 8. For thus saith your Howard of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. Right, these nations spoiled us, man. Took all of our goodies. Brought us down to a low estate. Laughed at us, mocked at us, made poems, sang cards one, one to another, man. It says, for he that touched you touched the apple of his eye. And, and, and you people fucked up. You, Esau, Edom, you touched the apple of the Lord's eye. The, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, the one that you repute as nothing, you touched you touched us, man. You destroyed us, man. So, hey, it's payback. Yeah, yes. It's a judgment ring for that, you know. You have to answer for those crimes you commit against the Lord's people. It says, verse 9, For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. He shall know that Yahweh of hosts have sent me. So the Lord is going to make us the head and make them the tail. As it says in the curses, man. As it says in Deuteronomy 30, the first uh, one to like six, seven chapters, man. The Lord will put these curses on them. And after these curses come off us, we receive the blessings. And the blessings, it says that we're going to be the head. We're going to be the ones lending. And they're going to be the ones uh, requiring, uh, asking, you know, begging. You know, and that's 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 equity. That's justice. This is, uh, we're going to get back to it. This Psalms 149 and 4, for the Lord taking pleasure in his people, right? His people is the Negro, Latino, Native American. Now, it's the elect, the ones that's coming back seeking repentance in those last days. As it says in the book of Isaiah, the Lord will come unto those that turn from transgression in Jacob. It says, let them, it says, he will beautify the meek with salvation, the lowly, those ones of a contrite, broken spirit, remorseful, repentful spirit. It says, let the saints be 
joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. The saints are the Israelites. It says, verse 6, let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. And what are they going to be doing with that sword, man? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. So hey, if we're going to be lifted up, the Lord is going to raise up our dead bodies, man. You know, he's going to get these dogs off us, man. He's going to break out the, the, the captivity that we in, man, and set us up, man. Put us in power, man. Hey, the Lord said he's going to turn all of our shame into glory, man. He's going to turn uh, this reproach off of us, man, the shame of our widowhood. And hey, he's going to make us a joy of praise. These people are going to want to be us, man. It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. We're going to put y'all nobles and your kings in, in captivity, which means the rest of your, your nation is going to go into captivity under us. It says, verse 9, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints, praise ye the Lord. And what is the judgment written? This is Revelation 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, man. So if you got an ears to hear, man, hey, the self-proclaimed white man, along with other nations, led us into captivities, man. Therefore, they have to go into captivity. They killed a hey, Esau Edom, destroyed us with the sword. And the sword not only just being, you know, a murder weapon, but a hey, his pen legislation. You had the Jim Crow laws, man. You know, you got his all types of uh, unjust decrees, unrighteous decrees that Isaiah 10 that he set up against us, man. Hey, it's a judgment for that, man. All the damage that you've done on our people, man, we've been left in your hand. And now our people are a bunch of uh, ABCs, degenerates, reprobates, haters of God, man. This is your product, man. So, hey, hey, you're going to get judged for that, man. Straight up, man. This is uh, Jeremiah 30 and verse 16. It says, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Hey, these nations completely devoured our people, man. And I, I was having a conversation with Edomite earlier today at work, man. And uh, he was telling me, like, uh, he was trying to. You know, he was he was he was he was doing that that thing that the you know them them the red folks do. You know, they just say a bunch of shit and be lying through their teeth. <laughs> but they they try to make it sound good, like no nigga, no. But he was like, uh, look look at the times before uh, segregation. I'm like, yeah, black people was doing good for themselves. You know, they had their own this and they had their own that. He was like, well, well you think they were doing bad? Uh, you think they were doing better for themselves being uh, segregated? Um, well, look at them now. Look at them today. We're integrated, and now they're a bunch of degenerates, you know? And he was like, oh, well, you know, okay, I do see what you mean. But, hey, going back to the scripture, they devoured us. It says, in all thine adversaries, every opposing force, every enemy, every one of them shall go into captivity. They're going in chains, man. It says, and they that, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that pray upon thee will I give for pray. These people, hey, hey, the Lord going to flip it, man. Hey, just as you done it, just as you done it to us, we're going to do it to you. But in righteousness, two times over. It says, uh, verse 17, for I will restore health unto thee. The Lord is going to heal us, man. Can't, hey, can't nothing else. Can't no reparations, no $20,000 that they claim they finna give. No $10,000, $20,000 they're going to get a, you know, slave, uh, uh. Uh, uh, predecessors, uh, well, ancestors, you know, in Evanston, Illinois, man. It, it, hey, that ain't no reparations, man. The Lord is gonna come back with that true reparations, which is gonna be a hey, change. It, that's gonna repair. That's gonna be the beginning of the repairing. It says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith Yahweh, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. They mocked us, saying, This is the, the, the people of the Lord. Who don't who want to be them? Look at them. You know? These people have destroyed us, man. And they, it's a judgment written for that, man. This is Isaiah 51 and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at all the heads of all the streets. Hey, our people are gone, man. They not there. All Jake want to do is sag pants, dreadlocks, gang bang, shoot one another. But won't dare do that, do it to one to the man that they should be doing it to. Who showed them that? It says, as a wild bull and a gnat, they are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy power. It says, therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith Yahweh, thy power 
and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken the, taken out of the out of thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of thy fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. And that cup contains slavery, the curses, man. It says, it says the Lord gonna take that out of our hand. We're not gonna drink it no more again, right? Hey, hey, the Lord's gonna perfect us. Ain't gonna be no more going off and going into captivity. We ain't finna go into captivity on no, no, no other nation after this, man. We're gonna be ruling for everlasting. It says, verse 23, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. And as it says in the book of Maccabees, who have not part spoiled. So like, spoiled. This second, Mac, first Maccabees 2 and 10, I'll start up. This uh, first Maccabees 2 and verse 6. And when he saw the blasphemies that were committed in Judah and Jerusalem, he said, Woe was me. Wherefore was I born to see the misery of my people and of the holy city and to dwell there when it was delivered into the hand of the enemy and the sanctuary into the hand of strangers. Her temple is become as a man without glory. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Her infants are slain in the streets. Her young men with the sword of thy enemy. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom? And have gotten of her spoils. What nation have not taken advantage of you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American? Whether it be Moab, whether it be Japheth, whether it be Esau, Ishmael, whatever. Whether it be Elam. No. It says, verse 11. All her ornaments are taken away of a free woman. She has become a bond slave. And behold, our sanctuary, even our beauty and our glory is laid waste. And the Gentiles have profaned it, man. These people have destroyed us, man. They have destroyed our land, man. It says in the book of Isaiah, the first chapter, strangers devour your land and your presence. They go in on us, man. Isaiah 51 23, it says, but I will put into the hand of them that afflict thee, which is every nation. A previous lesson, we just read that in Psalms 83, which have said to thy soul, bow down that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. And they, they tread over us, man. Hey, literally, you know, you had Jake. Drop his shirt, get down on the ground, muddy, walk all over him, you know. And they spiritually, they treaded under us. They 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 got above us, high above us, man. Uh, upon as it says in the Book of Ezekiel, they stood upon the holy mount of God, man. These people treaded us down, man. It's a judgment coming for that shit, man. This is rock thirty five and seventeen. The prayer of the humble pierces the clouds. Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and to execute judgment. It says in the book of Peter, but uh, the care, it says in Wisdom of Solomon, it's like it. I'm going to go back to that. It says uh, the care of the Most High is with his elect, roughly paraphrasing. It says in the book of Peter, it says that uh, surely he knows how to deliver. He hears the prayers of the righteous, but his face is against those that do wickedly, roughly paraphrasing, man. It says, for the Lord will not be slack, neither will, verse 18, for the Lord will not be slack, neither will the mighty be patient toward them till we have smitten and sundered the loins of the unmerciful and repay vengeance to the heathen to have taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the scepter of the unrighteous. So the Lord is going to repay these heathens, man. He's going to destroy them, you know. There's going to be heathens around, of course, but hey, he's going to judge the fuck out of them, man. It says, until you have taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the scepter of the unrighteous. Man, hey, when Yahweh Shai comes back, man, it says that he's going to have crowns upon his head. Verse 19, till he have rendered to every man according to his deeds and to the works of men according to their devices, till he have judged the cause of his people and made them to rejoice in his mercy. So the Lord is going to, is going to, hey, he's going to be, he's going to be fair. He's going to be equity. He's going to uh, use equity, man. You know, you destroyed his people. Now he's going to judge you. And you earned it. It says, verse uh, 20, mercy is seasonable in a time of affliction as clouds of rain and the time of drought. And it's going to feel good and it's going to be right in season when the Lord does that, man. A is right around the corner. So, hey, man, hey, the judgment is written. The W is already written. We already got the power. You know, we already got the W through the spirit and power. How about Shimei Shai? Keep pushing. Call her lying lie. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, work hard with us. Devon to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citation of the occupants, word of truth, sacred charity. Shalom, Barak, Thumb, and Baba Ball.